The following is a presentation of BaseNet Intermedia. Hi, I'm Marissa and I'm about Boston. Today we're going to be talking with Brett Watson, who is the founder and president of Watson Adventures. Hi, Brett. Hi, Marissa. Thanks for having me on. Sure. Thanks for coming. Can you tell us a little bit about Watson Adventures, uh, what you guys offer, um, what kind of organization you are? I'd be delighted. Watson Adventures does scavenger hunts in historic late locations and neighborhoods uh, around Boston. And what I mean by a scavenger hunt is not the kind where you go around collecting objects, but you're collecting answers to tricky and often humorous questions. Now, why do you prefer scavenging for answers instead of doing the regular looking for objects? I, well, my interest is in discovering cool stuff in places like North End, where we are now. Mm -hmm. And so the idea of a game that's also a walking tour really appeals to me. Mm -hmm. And what we find is the reason people come back again and again, because anyone uh, can perhaps come up with a pretty decent hunt where you're collecting objects. But here, you're not just doing a game, uh, you're also learning and seeing really cool stuff that you're going to go back and tell your friends about later. Right, that's interesting. So mm -hmm. as you're finding the answers, you're also learning historical information or neat tidbits about Boston that you, you're learning while having fun sure. without even knowing it. I mean, for instance, our Secrets of Old Boston hunt uh, takes you right through this area here up to the North Church, which is about two blocks away. And we have a question there about the lanterns, one if by land, two if by sea. And mm -hmm. the answer is fun to find and surprising once you do so. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Now, how do you come up with these questions? You have so many, and you do so many um, different hunts. Thanks. We do have a lot of questions, especially since we started doing this. The business was founded in 1999, mm -hmm. and we now do hunts in uh, for the public in seven cities around the nation, wow. from here to L.A. Oh, wow. And in Boston, we must have seven or eight different locations. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can do a hunt anywhere. Um, so but you can, if someone wants to do a hunt in a particular place, you can organize the hunt in that area? Exactly. Oh, wow, that's great. So, uh, for instance, there's an executive training program at Babson College out in the suburbs. Oh, and wow. they said, could you do one for our executives here? And we created one on their campus. And you also have done some stand-up comedy, I've read. Um, in the past, and um, do you incorporate any of that into the into either the questions or the tours? Do you use that that interest of yours and into um, into the scavenger hunts at all? I do. Uh, in fact, the thing that first made me want to do these hunts is I was in an art museum by myself and I started making up jokes about the works of art. <laughs> uh, in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, there's a stained glass window that looks just like Mick Jagger, for instance. And so I was thinking a question like, what stained glass saint looks like he can't get no satisfaction? <laughs> uh, so, uh, or the uh, uh, Union Oyster House um, is on this Secrets of Old Boston hunt. and. Uh, there's a menu in the window where we have a question, uh, what menu item would prompt the cry, clean up in aisle seven? <laughs> and it's because on the menu there's dropped eggs. Now this is not the kind of humor I did during my stand-up. Right. You know, most of the hunt stuff is you had to be there kind of stuff. Right. The fun is when you discover the answer and it pops up like a punchline. Right, yes, that's very cool. And now you offer, so, um, you offer events for private parties, so you can do birthday parties. Mm -hmm. And have you ever had a bachelor at party or a bachelor party? Yes, we have a bride and go seek hunt oh, no where they're uh, rushing, rushing around and uh, it's more of a traditional hunt, but they're, in this case they're looking for things that often have to do with either getting married or with the bride to be herself. Oh, very cool. We and customize it to the details of her life. Right. Oh, interesting. Um, and you also do corp corporate hunts, so like for yes. a business field trip or if they're doing team building exercises or something of that nature. Yes, mm -hmm. especially you know after the recession, companies cut back on fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And it turns out fun stuff makes for a better workplace mm -hmm. and makes for better relationships. You get right. to break the mold of the kind of character you play in the office, so mm -hmm. to speak. Getting out, running around, you know, seeing the Museum of Fine Arts or going to Salem on our haunted Salem scavenger hunt, that get them out of the office, have fun, exactly. makes a world of difference. Yeah, now, if I wanted to go to a hunt, just a regular you know, person off the street, um, would I have to go with my own group, or can I just sign up for myself, and would you guys put me with a group? Because they're, the scavenger hunts, are they're in groups, right? They're teams that compete against each other. Yes, thanks, you, thanks for explaining that. You, you show up, and you're on a team of up to six people. Okay. You can be a team of two, you can go up to six, 
uh, more than that makes it unfair. But uh, <laughs> if you want to hunt solo, I mean, if, if you're an individual who needs to find a team, mm -hmm. we'll help you pair up with kindred spirits at the starting point. Okay. And uh, most people gather a bunch of friends and they come and uh, they buy tickets at our website, watsonadventures.com. Mm -hmm. We tell you where the starting point is. And from there, should I keep going? You want to hear yeah, more? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> You'll get something like this. This is one of our okay. uh, question sheets. Each person gets one. That's what I like about our old school way of doing it instead of the cell phones where one person on the team is holding a cell phone. Everyone else yeah. is going, what's going on? <laughs> right. I can't. But uh, you get a clue sheet. You're off and running, and you're following the directions around the neighborhood. Typically, it lasts two hours. You okay. meet the MC at the end. They score the results, you find out who won. I wanted to go over some of the hunts that you currently offer. Please do. Now, one that seems really cool is the Munch around Cambridge, mm -hmm. which is a hunt where um, you, you travel around Cambridge, that's the scavenger hunt, and along the way, you're eating different, um, sounds like delicious, tasty treats. Mm -hmm. Now, how does that one work? That's one of the most fun ones to research mm -hmm. because we get to go and try the food. You yeah. Know, right? But we uh, first look at, once again, uh, guidebooks, restaurant reviews online, newspaper reviews, find out what people are saying in the blogosphere about what are the tastiest spots in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. you know, what's the cupcake you have to try? What's the ice cream that you'll, you, you have to put on your bucket list? You know, what's uh, uh, the best pizza in Cambridge? So uh, on this, you're doing our traditional scavenger hunt where you're getting a walking tour of the best of Cambridge, mm -hmm. but you're also hitting food stops along the way, oh, just as great. you said. Yeah. And I read on your website they had, you have um, there's like this delicious grilled cheese with mustard. It sounds so good. And a pizza and all types of ice cream. And mm -hmm. that one sounds really interesting. Um, and then you have the Old Boston, uh, the Freedom Trail, which is really popular, which we're on right now. We're mm -hmm. in front of the Old North Church. Yes. Um, you have uh, a hunt in Copley around the Copley Square area. Copley Square area. Mm -hmm. um, and Back then, Bay. Back Bay. Yep. Um, and then the, the Harry Potter Wizard Tour in the Museum of Science for kids 10 and up and also adults. That seems really interesting. Yes. The, uh, the Wizard School scavenger hunt is at the Museum of Fine Arts. Oh, okay. And they're walking around. Uh, finding works of art that relate somehow to the Harry Potter books and movies. Oh, cool. So you could be looking for dragons or oh, awesome. snakes, uh, professors that look like uh, Professor Dumbledore, <laughs> not professors, but portraits of people that look sure. like him. Yeah. yeah, kids love it. That's and really cool. it's going to be big in July as the final Harry Potter movie comes out. Oh, awesome. That's really cool. You're offering it a couple times then. Okay. And then you have a new um, a hunt coming out, which is the Revolutionary Boston Hunt. That's coming July 9th, I think. July 9th. Okay. Uh, the we're not competing with the Independence Day weekend when people will be flooding the Freedom <laughs> Trail area, but yeah. uh, we're doing this one in conjunction with the Old State House, which of course okay. is one of the most important Revolutionary War sites in Boston. Mm -hmm. And so this hunt travels the Freedom Trail area and roundabout, cool. and gives you the history of the Revolutionary War sites along the way oh, wow. and top it off with a tour of the old state house. Oh great, that sounds really interesting. It's it's it's, it's a great museum. It has uh, among its many treasures from the Revolutionary War actual tea from the Boston Tea Party. My favorite comment from someone after they've done the hunt is, wow, I've lived here all my life, but I never saw this or I never saw exactly. that. Exactly, yeah, I was just telling um, our director, I don't know whether behind the camera, the same thing. I could. It would be great to um, to learn some more. There's so much history here about mm -hmm. Boston. Um, and then I just wanted to read a few sample questions of what somebody can expect on the tour. Okay. Um, uh, this one is from the Museum of Arts um, scavenger hunt. And this question is, why would a boy's mummy, M-U-M-M-Y, suggest that he, be, that he put on gold lipstick? Now the answer is, to ensure speech in the afterlife. And this is explained near a portrait of a mummy youth. So in this case, you would go to the museum, you'd get some clues or directions of where to go. Right. You'd find this um, this portrait of the mummy, and hopefully um, that will give you the answer to the question. Yes, the portrait has glittering gold around the mouth of this boy. Okay. Uh, and the face is at the top of a mummy. So okay. who doesn't like finding mummies, <laughs> right, right? Exactly. And then you find out why is he wearing gold lipstick. Right, and there you go. We're, we're revealing the secrets that yes. are hidden in that museum. Exactly. Um, and then another question, this one is for the Munch Around Cambridge hunt. Um, it's, uh, it's find a grassy area marked by an invitation to shop. What cunning carnivore indicates the home of a secret Harvard eating club? And the answer is across from the Newtown Market. Sign in. There's a sign in Winthrop Square. Um, there's a door that features a fox. Yes, the door knocker is a fox. Okay. And uh, it's more fun to once again out of context. These are like, mm, but when you're there. <laughs> Um, 
it's fun finding it, and then you're getting a little bit of history in there to tell you what's the significance of this building. Right. And how's it connected to Harvard? Exactly. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. And every now and then, someone spots a celebrity and takes a photograph. So, like Madeline Albright was spotted once by a team, and she posed with them, oh, wow. looking none too happy about it, but, <laughs> yeah. but grudgingly going along with it. Yeah. Kate Hudson was once captured. Wow. Uh, Where can we find you? Do you have a website, or how can we come and, and sign up for a hunt? We're at WatsonAdventures.com. WatsonAdventures.com. That's where the game starts. You get in okay. the game there. You can buy a ticket. We'll tell you where to meet us. Okay. All right, great. Well, thanks so much for coming on. It's, it's such a cool, interesting... Thank um, you. you